What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here, and it's time for another episode of the XS650 Chopper build series. So when we last left the eponymous XS650 Chopper, it was running and riding, and I will say it was seemed like it was riding pretty good to me, and it wasn't running bad, although it definitely could use some tuning. Now, instead of letting things be, I'm just gonna make things more difficult for myself, and what I'm gonna work on today is installing a foot clutch hand shift. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with a foot clutch or a suicide shift or a jockey shift or whatever you call it, I know there's different names for when it's in different locations on the bike, but for uh, for my purposes, I'm just gonna call it a foot clutch hand shift. Anyway, for those of you guys who don't know how that operates, it basically makes it a little bit more like a car. So you now operate the clutch with your foot, your left foot, where you would have normally been shifting, and you shift with your left hand. Now the more logical minded among you might be saying something along the lines of shade tree have you lost your mind why would you ever do something like that and I, I don't know man because I think it looks really cool that's why. I've always liked the foot clutch hand shift bikes because they're fun to ride it makes it more of an experience it's definitely not easy and you have to pay attention to ride the bike it makes it much more difficult to ride around than a traditionally set up motorcycle. But that's part of the appeal to me. Part of the appeal of building a crazy looking chopper is making something that isn't easy to ride, that not anybody can just jump on and take off down the street. I wanna make something ugh, dangerous and weird and strange and guess what? It's my bike, I'm putting it on there. And yes, my bike. That brings up something a lot of people have been asking is, didn't you originally start this chopper project for Jessica? And yes, we originally started out that way and I thought I was gonna build this bike for Jess, but as things are progressing and certain aspects of the bike I'm not entirely sure about, they're a little sketchy, I think that I'm probably gonna take over this chopper and the next one I build will be the one that Jessica rides around. But who knows, she might ride around this one as well. It's definitely not going to be my bike or her bike or anything like that, just something that we both use. But I'm just saying when it comes to test riding stuff that I built myself, I'd rather that I be in the driver's seat than somebody else take that risk. But I digress, let's get into the foot clutch. So obviously you have to create some sort of linkage from a pedal on the shifter over to the clutch. And while that is definitely gonna take a little bit of fabrication, there is a company that I've ordered some parts from that's gonna make it a lot easier. That company's called Jump Street Customs. Now Jump Street Customs makes a custom worm gear and a custom hand shifter kind of designed exactly for the XS650 for those of guys out there who want to put a foot clutch hand shift on their bikes. And no, I didn't receive these parts for free. I bought and paid for everything that I'm gonna show you in this video today. I just think it's a cool company and it's a small business run by a dude who just loves choppers and specifically loves XS650s. And he makes a bunch of cool parts for them. So the main thing that's gonna allow this to happen is this customized worm gear for the clutch actuator rod that he makes. And basically, this uh, goes in place of your old worm gear that's cable actuated and has uh, this on here to be able to hook a linkage up to. And I've also gotten some linkages from Jump Street Customs, along with uh, all the other various parts to make that clutch actuator work properly. Along with that customized worm gear, I've also ordered a hand shifter. This is a weld on hand shifter for the XS650, although theoretically you could use it for any application. Unfortunately, my box was pretty damaged by the post office when it showed up and my hand shifter was actually broken. This is no fault of Jump Street Customs. Everything was packaged right and it was in bubble wrap and all wrapped up, but that box looked like somebody beat it down with a Louisville slugger. So uh, it's not his fault, but I messaged him and he got me a new one of these out right away with no questions asked. That's good customer service. And like I said, I didn't receive any of this stuff for free, but I'll always shout out good customer service. He's a good dude. All of this stuff is made in America, by him, by hand, go check him out. That's enough jaw jacking, let's get to work. First things first, I gotta get the FXR off the lift. It's not even ready to ride yet, but I'm waiting on parts, so uh, it's going off the lift, the XS is going on.
All right, let's get into this. Obviously, what I have going on here right now is not gonna work. Fortunately, the controls that I have, I think are actually gonna work out really well. These controls I have on here right now are from Dime City Cycles, and they're actually designed for a stock XS650, but they're uh, modified to work on this one. Now, I do have a regular shifter on here, as you can see right here. That shifter's on there. That's actually from Mike's XS. Com, which is, you know, Dime City, Mike's Excess. They're pretty much interchangeable. Same with the foot pegs, like I said before. Now, obviously, a hand shifter is going to go here next, so I can't use this anymore. I have to have something else with a linkage. Now, luckily, these actually came with a shifter. These pegs were originally designed to use this shifter right here with a linkage in order to work with the, the stock shifter. They connected with a linkage to that. So since I did have this on there, I took this off, but now that I'm going to a foot clutch, I actually think that this might work perfectly. Eh, maybe perfectly, not the right word to use. It might work. Probably not perfectly. It's probably going to take a little bit of doing. So first things first, let me go ahead and get that custom worm gear from Jump Street Customs installed. So I got to take these pegs off and take this side cover off and get that sucker in there. Now normally if you're going to take this apart, you'd replace all this stuff too, but uh, unfortunately for my pocketbook, I had already put a new worm gear in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave this stuff in there because there's nothing wrong with it at all. Alright, here's the part that goes on the outside, and here's the modified worm gear. Alright, I'm not sure exactly where that's going to fit on there, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this this on here real loose because obviously this is going to have to be put in exactly the right position in order for my linkage to work from my previously a shifter now a foot clutch on the peg. Learned my lesson from last time. Last time I was having problems with the clutch because this whole assembly back here didn't have any grease on it so I'm going to make sure I got at least a little bit on there. I don't know if this is the right stuff to put on it or not but uh, I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. All right, let's get this shifter back on here. I'm gonna thread this off of here. And since that is just a bushing, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw a little bit of grease on this as well. I assume it probably, probably can't hurt. Again, if I'm wrong about this and I shouldn't be putting any grease on this at all, I'm sure the internet will let me know. Let's see how we're gonna make this work while also leaving room to be able to use the shifter. You can't quite see it in here, but since this was originally meant for a shifter, it's pretty close to everything that's happening right here, and I need to be able to make it work for this up here. Of course, I can flip that down wherever I need it, but also still have room for this. So it's gonna take a little bit of doing, but I think if I put the linkage on the outside, uh, I'll be able to make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shifter on there just so while I'm doing this, I'm not gonna put it on backwards to kinda, so I'll know like, okay, I gotta be able to clear, I gotta be able to clear this. Maybe something like this, like a linkage from here to here on the outside, maybe, he says, so ever so hopefully. Well, let's try bolting it in there and see what happens, see if uh, I actually have enough leverage to move that clutch or not. Again, I will stress that this is only for mock-up purposes. So, I'm just trying to make sure that when I put my foot on it, it's not gonna go down too low. Anyway, there's only one way to find out. Let's tighten this stuff up and I'll lower this bike so I can get my foot on it and see how it does. Looks like it's putting a little bit of pressure I don't like on this, but there's only one way to find out if it's gonna work, unless to use it. Well, I'm not sure. Why don't you guys go ahead and take a look at that and tell me if you think that looks good or not. I mean, it seems like there's some flex in there that I just don't like, but even when I push it with my hand, there's some flex in it too, so uh, I don't know if that's normal. Uh, 
I'm just, I'm just worried over prolonged use that that will that will eventually break something well i got it on there and uh, that's probably gonna about do it for tonight because uh, it's about 11 30 at night and uh, as much as i don't mind pissing my neighbors off 11 30 is a little bit late even for me to fire this up especially when i don't have any beers in me eh, if i had a couple beers in me i might be a different story but we'll get back at this tomorrow and we'll do a test ride and see if this works or not Well, now that we're at a little more of a decent hour to be starting very loud choppers, let's go ahead and test out this foot clutch. All right, as you can see here, I've got just my shifter literally just installed backwards so I can actually shift the bike, but uh, this is not going to be permanent and is obviously not ideal. All right, you gave me a first kick. You gave me a first kick the other day. Maybe I ought to tighten that up too. It's a chopper. Things need to be tightened. That happens. It'll definitely be a big video on standardizing <laughs> everything on this bike because right now we're a little bit of a mishmash. I really don't want this foot pick coming loose. I'm riding it. All right. So as I was saying, <laughs> you, you going to give me a first kick or not? Let's see. Nope. Well, not bad. All right, stay. Good bike. Bad bike. All right, I had to find a pair of gloves. Now let's test this thing out. Oh, uh, I'll tell you, it goes, it's so weird to not have anything here. These clutches can be really finicky, so I won't be surprised if I have to adjust it. <laughs> I'll tell you, it, uh, it works. It, <laughs> well, it works, I'm riding it. No clutch, look at me go. not ideal having to reach down on that uh on my stock shifter and uh modulate it that way but basically all i wanted to do is see if this clutch worked and uh i'll tell you what it it fucking does i'm surprised man go jump street customs this is freaking awesome and once i have an actual hand shifter this will be a lot easier Instead of having to reach all the way down right now. But here I am, you know. Shifting through the gears. <laughs> oh man, I know a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys are going to be like, this is so dumb. Why did you do this to your bike? But I don't know, man. I love it. I think they're cool. I think foot shift, foot clutches are so much fun to ride around. And the people who don't know what they are just get freaked out when they don't see a clutch handle on your bike. It's so funny. Oh yeah, no, that works like a freaking champion, dude. Works like a champion. No, you know, it's probably not your best option when you're in stop and go traffic and you definitely got to be okay riding around with with one hand which I am I'm always wildly gesticulating to make my point anyway so <laughs> since, since I'm always doing this anyway because I talk with my hands then it's uh it's not that much of a stretch to to, to take my hand off to shift the bike anyway Oh man, go Jump Street Customs, man. Good job.
I can tell already one thing I am going to have to do is make this shift lever, uh, or I, my, not my shift lever, now my clutch pedal. <laughs> That's so weird to say on a bike. I'm going to have to make my clutch pedal a little bit longer. Right now it's kind of short, and which would be fine if you were just shifting through the gears because most of the time your foot's under and hooked in, but since I'm pushing down on top of it, uh, and never put my foot underneath it. It's I uh, definitely I don't want to have such a, a, a little area to put my foot. In fact, what I'd, I'd like to actually make a pedal, so something kind of like my brake pedal, but but for my for that shifter, and it's just a screw that holds it in. So I'm sure I can maybe get a brake pedal off of something else and drill and tap a hole. That'll be a that'll be a whole other episode. I love it, man! I love it! Whoa, this thing is really coming together, boys. It's really coming together. Yeah, once you get used to it, it is really modulating it. It is not any harder than modulating a hand clutch. And I, I've, I've ridden foot clutch bikes before, so I definitely have a little bit of experience doing this. Not a whole lot, let me tell you. Not a whole lot of experience, but here's the whole thing. If you know how to drive a stick shift car, this is definitely not going to be any problem for you. Alright, I can definitely tell that clutch needs to be adjusted a little bit. I was just kind of slipping there on the road, so... Um, whoa! That's right. I need my dog bowl. Almost forgot about that. Yeah, for all you guys, by the way, who said, uh, just let the bike lean when you were talking about, like, my my needing an extended kickstand. Dude, I would. I actually think that looks really cool when you let bikes lean, but it will actually fall over. It... <laughs> Like I like a I like a gangster lean, but when your front tire's coming off the ground, that's a little bit too much. Okay, like I said, these things are real finicky, so usually it's gotta be like right when you start to feel tension. So when I was riding before I was slipping when I gave it gas when I was in gear, but if I don't have enough tension on there, what'll happen is when I put it in gear and wanna sit there without moving, the clutch is gonna drag too much, so Alright, feels fine like this. But I really won't know how it's actually doing until I get into a little bit of a higher gear and give it some gas, so let's get back out and do some illegal chopper shit on the main road. And let me do a little u-turn here for those of you guys who are wondering if you have enough control over a foot clutch to ride around at slow speeds yes you do fingers crossed no fuzz let's try a ripper seems like she's working pretty good to me still slipping a little bit. I need a little bit more adjustment. I know it works, so I really don't have to mess around with uh, getting everything adjusted perfectly. Because it's Friday, not only do I have to edit this video to have it released for Sunday, but I've got to work my real job tonight, so <laughs> I, got a, I got a bunch of stuff left to do, but I'm glad I could get out on this and figure out that, you know what, that Jump Street Customs clutch it works like a freaking champion, man. And I actually uh, texted or emailed uh, the guy from Jump Street Customs and asked him about that flex in there. And he said, you know what? He says his personal bike does the exact same thing and he's never had a failure. So he goes, you know, keep an eye on it, of course, but he didn't seem to think that there would be any kind of problem at all with that flex. He said it's normal. Next up on the docket is install an actual hand shift, but 
that's another episode for another day that's going to involve more of me welding very, very poorly. So until next time, keep it weird, y'all.